Hello! We are at Stansted Airport in London with the Boeing 737-600 which has just been released by PMDG and we're going to take it for a quick flight and we're going to push the limits with it basically and see how it behaves at the extremes of its flight envelope. So we're going to pull out onto runway 22 at Stansted Airport, go fast and low and then in an air show style display we're going to do a very steep climb and then wing over, turn left to f until we're doing the reciprocal of the runway direction and then again take the aircraft up to um, its speed limit and then go for a vertical climb if we can we'll see if it can do it and then nose over and then a steep descent back in so it's a bit of a, an air show display really but I think it would be good fun just to see what the limits are of this aircraft so we've got almost no fuel on board so it's going to be fun to see how we go with that but just about enough fuel to do a circuit we've got no passengers on board and no baggage so there is nothing on board the aircraft Okay, so I'm just moving the flaps to 5 degrees for takeoff. Okay, someone's just overflown the runway. If we go forwards in the seat, can we see them? Oh, there they are. Okay, I'm going to hold on the parking brake. Engines to maximum power, which should be about 102%. And release the parking brake, 103%. So 70, 80, 90, 90. Nose up, we're in the air already. Which kind of surprises me, but doesn't. So we go for gear up, flaps up, we level out. We're going to go for 240 knots and then pull steep. And then nose over. And then make our turn for 40 Banking. degrees. We'll turn off the master caution. How are we doing for fuel? Three tons left. We're fine. So we're just turning the reciprocal. Bank angle. And we're ignoring the bank angle warnings. Bank angle. So we're going to take this up to the limit of its speed, disregarding the 250 knot limit, and then we're going to attempt to go vertical. So we're watching the airspeed here, about 5,000 feet. Okay, so. Here we go. Bank angle. Bank angle. It's vertical, we've actually gone beyond the vertical, so let's nose over hard. <coughs> we've actually turned on the way up. That's fine. Okay, and we got away with it. We didn't stall. I'm quite stunned about that because we went beyond vertical. Okay, so we will be going the wrong direction now for the runway. <coughs> so we're just going to turn back towards about 60 degrees for a while. 
and then we will make the turn back to 40. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it, that it has such performance? So if you have a look from outside, there's the airfield. So, you, yeah, you, you make a small Boeing with the same engines as the bigger ones, and you can get some ridiculous performance. Okay, so what we're going to do is drop the flaps to full flaps. Go for full air brakes. <coughs> we're also going to drop the undercarriage. We're going to wing over. Bank angle, bank angle, bank angle, and fall in towards the airfield. Be interesting actually bank to angle, see if we angle. can bank angle. use bank angle side slip as well to slow ourselves down. So we're going to fast look for full flaps. So let's just get the nose up a little bit. at 10,000 feet at the moment and the plane does not want to slow down. It's quite stunning actually. <coughs> it really doesn't want to. This is a bit of a cloudy day to do this, isn't it? You have to circle on the way down just to lose the, the altitude. So it, w it went up upstairs quickly enough. It doesn't want to go back down again. Okay, so there's the airfield. I think that's what there's an airfield. What I'm going to have to do is open up a little map map just to see where we are. Okay. a circle to lose some height on the way down and then we should be in line with the runway for a landing. So it's interesting actually to see yeah that with nothing in the aircraft it still can't descend that fast. We've got full flaps, full air brakes or spoilers and let's just try it in a straight line. You can't descend that quickly. without accelerating. So it will be interesting to go in at extreme low speed along the runway and see how we get on. Let's get rid of that master caution. We've got two and a half tons of fuel left. 
hardly used any. So I'm just going to flat on the trim here to stop it, to stabilise it basically. So I'm not holding the controls now. The aircraft is just engines are on idle and it's gliding. Give it a bit of trim just to stop the nose dripping anymore. There we go. So the plane will pretty much fall at two and a half thousand feet a minute with everything hanging out. <coughs> and it's going towards the runway quite nicely. So if we take the brakes off. Oh, somebody just coming in underneath us and somebody above us at the same time. It's interesting. So I'm just going to open the engine slightly. So we're just going in visually to Stansted. 1000. And we'll see what the extreme low speed handling is like as we come in over the airfield and put it onto the runway. So we're doing 115 knots. <coughs> Excuse me, a bit of a dry throat. It's the after effects of Covid. I don't Hi, cough that won't go away for the last month now. So we're down to just over 100 and Five knots ish, so. 300. Because this aircraft is that much lighter, the stall speed is pretty incredible. So we're coming in at 100 knots. As we lift the nose, obviously the speed's going to scrub off, so we'll see how slow we can actually go. So I'm feeding in back stick. There's the, there's the stall warning. So we were just touching the ground there. We must have been one foot off the ground. So we were doing about 80 knots which is nuts. So let's see how long we can hold the nose up for. So engines are on idle. We're using aero braking essentially. Have to be careful because the plane's trying to pull itself around. We're just losing the aero braking. And there we go. About 55 knots. That's crazy that the aeroplane can operate at such low speeds. Okay, so let's get back off the runway. Flaps back up. So there you go, a rather crazy test flight of the 737-600 in Flight Simulator, just to see what the limits are of the airframe, really. And we went beyond vertical on a climb there, for just for about a second. And then nosed over out of it. Absolutely crazy. Brilliant fun. But although it might sound silly to do flights like this, of you know, trying the airframes out, it absolutely pays off in dangerous situations where you need to get yourself out of a hole in a hurry. So say you're doing an emergency diversion or you've got an emergency on your own aircraft and you're you know having to get down to an airfield or to climb out of a dangerous situation knowing how the aircraft behaves on the edges of its envelope can be really, really useful. It's a bit of a queue leaving Stansted today, isn't there? Anyway, I'm sure you don't want to watch me taxi all the way back, so we'll leave the video there. Hopefully you enjoyed that, and I'll see you again soon.